The 96th ceremony of the award of the American Academy of Cinematographic Arts and Sciences, Oscar, as expected, became the absolute triumph of Christopher Nolan Oppenheimer. Of the 13 nominations, Oppenheimer received seven, collecting figurines in all leading categories, Best Film, Best Director, Christopher Nolan, Best Male Role, Killian Murphy became the first Irish who received Oscar, Best. The male support of the second plan, Robert Downey Jr., as well as the best camera work, music, directing, and installation. The Triumph Oppenheimer on Oscar became the final of the cash register and semantic duel between the movie of Nolan and the picture of Greta Gerwig, Barbie, which, despite eight nominations, received only one figurine in the category Best Song. The composition, What Was I Made For? Billie Eilish and her brother musician Phineas O'Connell. They became the youngest owners of the two Oscars. In 2020, their composition, For No Time to Die, was awarded the Academy. The siblings came to the ceremony, attaching a red icon with a hand with a heart with a heart inside the lapel, demonstrating their support to the initiative, Actors for Crossing the Fire in Gaza. The same icons were on the actor Mark Ruffalo, which was nominated in the category of Best Supporting Actor for the role in the film by Yorgos Lantimos, Per Nednets, screenwriter Ave Diverny, and some other guests. In general, the Oscar ceremony was held without an emphasis on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and the fears of the organizers that the event could be disrupted by the missing demonstrators did not materialize. The only one who fully devoted his speech to the events in Israel was the British director Jonathan Glazer, the author of the film Zone of Interests. But more on that below. The main theme for Oscar was another war, the aggression of Russia against Ukraine and its own citizens. Last year, in the category Best Documentary Film Film, received a picture Navalny, and in this, alas, a fragment from the film opened the traditional part of the In Memoriam ceremony in which the Film Academy recalls the filmmakers who have gone out over the past year. All that is needed for the triumph of evil is the inaction of good people, the politician said from the large screen of the Dolby Theatre. This year, in the same category, the picture, 20 Days in Mariupol, of Ukrainian journalist Mstislav Chernov won, who shot his tape in the first three weeks of Russian invasion. Already becoming the most cash documentary in the history of Ukrainian cinema, 20 Days in Mariupol brought Ukraine the first Oscar and dozens of professional awards around the world. This is the first Oscar in Ukrainian history. This is an honor for me. But probably, I am the first director in the story that will say, standing on this stage, I would like to have this film. I would give this award so that Russia would never attack Ukraine, the director said, receiving a figurine. Chernov's film was nominated in the Best Foreign Language Film category, but the figurine went to the picture of the British director Jonathan Glazer, the zone of interests about the established life of the Commandant Auschwitz Rudolf Hess. The zone of interests began its triumphal procession with the Grand Prix of the Ken Film Festival and won two Oscar figures, the second for the best sound, which, of course, is more than fair. It is through the sound dissonating with the sterile tightness of the video that Glazer tells about the furnaces built by Hess, in which hundreds of thousands of Jews are burned while his wife and children frolic at the pool he equipped. The Zone of Interests was the first British ribbon to win the Oscar in this category. Having risen on stage, the director said that he was making his film not about the past, but about the present. Our film shows what the dehumanization leads to, he said. In its worst manifestation, it has formed our whole past and present. Now we are against our jury and Holocaust to be abducted by the occupation, which enthusiastically involved in the conflict of soil innocent people, including victims on October 7th or victims of the ongoing attack on gas, are all victims of dehumanization. His words were met by applause. Another fair but unexpected reward went to actress Emma Stone, who played the main role in the picture of Yorgos Lantimos, Per Nednets. Absolutely all the forecasts of Oscar in this category actress Lily Gladstone, a representative of the indigenous peoples of America, who played in the drama of Martin Scorch, Flower Moon, drama. The victory of Stone turned out to be, on the one hand, 
a surprise to those who believe in the political engagement of the Academy, on the other hand, a very pleasant surprise for those who hope that Oscar still relies on outstanding works. And the image created by Stone is a truly acting masterpiece. In total, the poor Nazads received four statuettes. In addition to the Oscar, Emma Stone, the awards went to the film in the categories Best Makeup and Hairstyles, Best Costumes, and The Best Work of the Artist Prostate. The second, Plan Actress, received one figurine. The Best Actress is a Joy Randolph, American Reading, The Best Adapted Script, Anatomy of the Fall, The Best Original Script, Godzilla, Minus One, Best visual effects. The master of Japanese animation Hayao Miyazaki, the author of Ghosts, for the full length animated film Boy and Bird, received his second Oscar. The master did not come to the ceremony. The good news is that this picture will not be the last in Miyazaki's career, despite the fact that he already promised to stop shooting earlier. Alas, the Oscar of the Israeli tape did not get the Letter of the Pig, director Tal Cantor, which was nominated in the category Short Animation Film. In this nomination, the painting War is Over, inspired by the music of John and Yoko, directed by Dave Malinza. The heroes of the picture play the party in chess against the background of the First World War, showing us that you can win chess, but there are no winners in the war.